Well, who better to tell us uh, about Serena than, than a former teammate of her? Uh, Jeanette von der Leyen joins us, um, formerly uh, a Dutch player, now currently a politician. Um, Jeanette, it's wonderful to have you on the Sky News Daily podcast. We have various different styles when it comes to football. The Alex Ferguson kind of hair dry treatment, you know, shouting, shouting, shouting to, to get the job done. And there are those that, 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 that take the players with them. Where did she fall? on that particular spectrum? Uh, well, maybe in between. Uh, at first, she was uh, the player and she's uh, really spicy. Yeah, we all know uh, that because she's a, r- a real uh, winner. Uh, but after the game, uh, she often calls uh, to me, so uh, or I, uh, I drove with her or I sat with her on the bus and we uh, talked through the game. Why did you do that? Did you see another solution? Because... On the pitch, you don't always often see this, the the most um, well uh, the solution you you actually wanted to give. Serena talked me through the solutions after the games, and uh, we tried to uh, get that on the pitch when we uh, on the pitch when we trained uh, during the week. So she's on the field, spicy, as you may expect of a uh, of a captain. But off the field, she tried to uh, to just. Uh, uh, well, how do you explain the game and try to see you in other solutions? Always with just one goal, scoring goals and getting us the championship. Was it all about the winning then for her? Well, it starts with pleasure. Mm. It's, it's, it's her passion. It, it's my passion. And she made, uh, she made her job out of her passion. So it's, it starts with passion and pleasure uh, but uh, for her and uh, for me, it's it's a combination because winning is also uh, part of uh, our passion. It, just watching the way in which she has interacted with the England players, you know, at the World Cup, there is a genuine joy. It feels to me that she has been taking not just in in the success on the pitch, but in the team that that, that she has assembled. I mean, d- would you agree with that? I agree with you. That yes, yes, uh, you see the joy, uh, you see the sparkle uh, at the players, and I also noticed that with the Dutch national squad when she was uh, our uh, coach and brought us uh, the success. Uh, you have to have a sparkle uh, to to be a, a great winner, because otherwise, why would you uh, train so hard? Why would you do all put all the effort uh, on winning if you don't like it? Tell me about. She's an open and transparent uh, person, and she she expects something. She expects the best all the time, uh, but I think um, it goes uh, well together. She's a very uh, warm person. She knows the private situation of her uh, players. She's just very interested. But those are two th- different things. When you're uh, when you have to do your job, when you have to. Uh, get on the pitch, well, you better do it right because she is brave enough to to uh, make some tough uh, decisions. When uh, someone is your leader or your boss or your coach, you just want to have some confidence. Uh, and at the, at, I don't think Serena minds people uh, making mistakes. She just wants you to try to do it better. Where would you rank her in terms of managers, coaches, that the, 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 the game has seen. And I'm not restricting this to, to, to women here. I mean, pretty clearly, she has a footballing brain like very, very few people on this yeah. planet. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's a difficult uh, question because uh, uh, yesterday I tweeted uh, that Serena Wigman was the GOAT. I think she's nowadays the greatest of all uh, times and she's a very big uh, example for, as well for, for men or women. So I do not really want to compare her uh, with someone else. She's outstanding and I think and nowadays uh, she's uh, far beyond all the other. Jeanette, from what you've been telling us, pretty clearly Serena believes that she's going to win the World Cup this weekend. Do you think she can do it? Absolutely. This? Do you think she can do it? Because as you say, Spain, they are an incredible side with perhaps the best player in the world as well right now. Yes, I think she, they have the best player in the, in the world. Well, maybe players. Uh, but England has uh, Serena. 
mm. and England. Uh, and, and I do believe Serena can make a difference. And this is, I think she realizes this is the most, this is what she's been fighting for all of life. It's, it's not just football. It's the emancipation of football. It's the fight that she uh, that she had all her life for just being her and and doing her passion. That's and that's love in football. So this is more than than just being in a final or winning uh, the World Cup. This is uh, about equal rights and proving the whole world that uh, women's football uh, is there is there to watch. And Serena is one of the leading ladies in England. Very well put, uh, Jeanette Vonderland. Pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for being with us in the podcast. Thank you for having me.